Hello everybody, we've uh, decided to do a, a patterning and uh, penetration test film and this is going to be very intensive, uh, I know it's a, something that a lot of people would like to see. Uh, we're going to start on uh, the new Grouse Extreme, this is the, the new Grouse load by Game Boy. This is the, uh, the 33 gram 5.5 load. So I'll, I'll just show you in the pattern where I store all the patterns now. So you can see what we do actually do day in day out. You can see the quantities that we've got here. All different cartridges. And then we've, we've got a, a store down here when we've actually assessed them. I might come in here every day for a month before I do actually pick one out that I do like. Game Boy obviously will be uh, waiting for the results. I do all my pattern and penetration testing between my two industrial buildings so there is less influence from the wind. We've set this at 51 metres and that's where we're going to do the shooting from. This is the old fashioned way, the wheel, which a lot of uh, a lot of people still use today, it's quite accurate. But then we, we go on to the modern version. This is the um, Bushnell 2 of E4 and it allows you to quickly get on the, the target area, press the button and that measures it straight away. These are the, the, the pattern plates that I use. It allows me to put all the information on the top when I've, when I've done the, the actual test. All I've got set up here, a couple of strong magnets in the centre. These will be the magnets that uh, that holds the, the, the piece of board on. Very simple really. I have a couple of magnets down centre of this oak cartridge and you'll see what this is for. This is where I keep my DVDs. This is what we use for the penetration tests. The reason I use DVDs, it's a consistent material and that's important. For me this represents the size of a pheasant's or partridge's body it's probably is more than likely a lot tougher than the pheasant itself so what I'm looking for is anything that will penetrate this go through it smash it all I do with this now locate the magnets and that's it put that there and that keeps that firmly in place now I've got a pattern plate with a penetration test the first test is always with Mimiruku, Miraku. It's uh, this is 18.7 in the bore. I've got three quarter, three quarter in this teak chokes. I seem to find they've got a consistent pattern and uh, a very good pattern at that. So here we go. This is the first test. Right, I'm just going to aim just below. And I mean just below, about four or five inches below the DVD. Right, this is at 55 yard. And as I said, I, I aimed a bit low. This cartridge is, it's not dropping a lot anyway. But I aimed, aimed about here and it's thrown the pattern top side. So, which is what I'd be expecting anyway. If I was shooting a grouse 40 or 50 yard away, I'd expect that's I, I should touch on the grouse, that's all, and just keep the gun moving and this will catch him. It's it's actually got three in the disc, which I'm quite happy with that. And they've gone through. Right, I'm gonna take the disc off now and see if it's gone through the cardboard as well, which I know it will have done. And there you go, that's exactly what I'm looking for. You know, three or four pellets. That's a dead bird as far as I'm concerned. And what I'll do now is mark everything up. Grouse extreme. For me, this is quite easy, so I'll just leave it as an E. Easy, easy to add is on the shoulder, is what it's like on the shoulder to me. And this is, it's very easy on the shoulder. And then up here, I'll put the, the full SP. Three quarter choke. <coughs> That's all I put. Three quarter. I know what it is. 
18.7 in the bore, 55 yard, G 5.5, that means game 5.5. And what I'll do now, I'll take the magnets off, drop the, the card down, so carefully so I don't disturb anything, and then you'll see what damage it's done to the pellets. And if you look here, it's what I call pancake. If you remember the DVD is about here, you'll see where it's been stuck on the magnet here. That's one that's come straight through the DVD, just there, and still flattened itself at the other end. And now we are marking it now, and my top mark is, is, uh, is between a, a six and a seven. And this for me, for a 33 gram 5.5, it gets a seven. A really, really fast editing cartridge. And that's exactly what we're looking for. In this series, I will also be testing all the small boards from 410 to 20 bore. You will see in the first films, the amount of testing I do is very significant. I hope through the intensive testing series that it will give everyone our insight into what a modern cartridge can and can't do. Also later on, chokes will be put to the test. Different sizes versus various load combinations.